After years of insurgence in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda People's Defense Forces UPDF made a return to the war torn Eastern DRC. The first UPDF contingent entered Eastern DRC through Bosunga, Nobiru Boda, Kamango, Mkakati, was under the command of Major General Kayanja Mhanga that conducted both aerial and ground force offensive on ADF camps on 30th November 2021. This is the story of UPDF war against the ADF rebels in Eastern DRC. Major General Kayanja Muhanga in 2022 was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General and appointed Land Force Commander was replaced with Major General D. Kolum as Operation Suja UPDF Contingent Commander. Her command he has maintained up to date. Under his command, Major General D. Kolum has dismantled several ADF rebel networks and their major training wings and camps in Eastern DRC. Under their new approach to a guerrilla war tactics that the ADF rebels are resorting to, UPDF is targeting the smaller splinter groups of ADF rebels who are now in this array, figuring out their routes to their Ugandan homes. However, the question that remains a puzzle to many is whether Major General D. Kolum and UPDF troops will stabilize Eastern DRC after many years of insurgence. To fit the terrorists here, once they have space for recruitment, mm. then they rejuvenate. And this is what happened with ADF. The third factor is space. The, 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 the fact that uh, Eastern DRC was available for them who then governed the area, that gave them space to rebuild. In the land of different armed groups, violence and illegal guns has been the order of the day for many years in Eastern DRC. After years of insurgences, ADF top commanders married Congress women and this led ADF to expand more. The person I succeeded, and that is none other than Lieutenant General Kayanja, who is now the commander of the UPDF Land Forces, uh, undertook onto these operations jointly with the FRDC. And since then, the UPDF has achieved, have achieved a lot. We have destroyed a lot of the ADF capacity to make war, ADF capacity to destroy and ADF capacity to abduct. Major General D. Kolum is charged with the responsibility of putting to an end the ADF rebel violence in Eastern DRC. A mission is determined to execute at whatever cost. The presence of UPDF troops in Congo is hinged on an MOU signed between President Felix Shekedi Shilombo and President Yuri Kaguta Museveni aimed at flashing up the ADF rebel group from their safe haven. Major General D. Kolum's terms of reference is to protect civilians and disarm the ADF rebels once and for all. General Lum is not underestimating the task ahead of him. We tend to warn our soldiers to always guide against that, to keep it in their mind, in the back of their minds, that UPDF is there for the people. Whether in the DRC or in Uganda, we are there for the people. And that's what we tend to ensure our soldiers don't forget about. Day and night, UPDF and Fadaka forces are on the lookout for the enemy. UPDF operate jointly with Congress Army, known as FRDC. General Yuri Kaguta Museveni, the commander in chief of the armed forces, deployed the deadly, well-equipped mountain division troops. The troops is well versed in urban war terrorism, street fight, mountain fighting, and guerrilla warfare. To the UPDF contingent under the command of Major General Olu, Eastern Congo that has been engulfed in armed violence for over 20 years with Congress severely suffering most is not exceptional from the battles. A surge in violent activity by Allied Democratic Forces ADF has demonstrated the growing annoyance by this armed group operating both in Uganda and Democratic Republic of Congo with women and children being wounded in this war and young innocent girls raped, abducted at age of 14, 15 and 16 years, sexually abused and the trauma can be vividly seen on their faces. The ADF rebels normally target young girls, mainly for sex. Major General D. Kolum's toughest assignment is 
to rescue all abducted women and children from the hands of the terrorists in the jungles of North Kivu. With this joint operation that is manifesting in all these areas in the Eastern Congo, especially Nituri and uh, North Kivu, the population have started coming back to the roadsides. The population have started going back to where they had been chased by the ADF. The ADF has been put under a lot of pressure. They don't have anywhere to get food. We have followed them everywhere. The ADF have now started releasing some of the few children that they have been capturing. We have recovered a number, a number of them. I think soon, uh, soon UBC should so, show them to Ugandans, these kids that we have rescued. And all these kids rescued look extremely malnourished. The joint military operation is progressing well in areas of Mualika Valley, Mambasa, Manzobe and Elengeti, where the joint forces are committed to defeat the ADF amidst critiques of Operation Suja. The ADF entered the Congo from Uganda after being defeated in Renzon Mountains between 1996 and 2000. Since then, they have been attacking villages, looting and killing civilians in Eastern Yarasi. The Operation Suja to succeed, General Diko Lum introduced semic activities within Congolese liberated communities and had gathered a lot of information about ADF. This has led to the killing of many ADF commanders, many captured, Ammunition recovered, children and women have been rescued. Currently, UPDF is enjoying the fruits of engaging Congolese civilians to end the ADF war in Eastern DRC. Mutesa Sida Haruna, UBS News.